Hi, Hope Kids and Jam friends. Welcome to part two. Now let's continue the story. So Paul knew that the people of Athens were separated from God because they did not worship him as the one true God. All their idols were just only helpless, lifeless statues or fake, but the people of Athens worshiped the imaginary gods that these statues represented. This bothered Paul so much that he spent days at the synagogue, which is a church for the Jews, um, or in the busy marketplace telling the people about the one true God. Paul explained that God is not a helpless, lifeless idol, but he is the creator, the ruler, and the judge. He knows people and is involved in their lives. And God is involved in our lives too. We can remember that. God is our creator. He made us. God is our ruler. He rules all over the earth and everything that happens is, is in his control. And God is our judge because he made everything and, is in, and he is in charge of the earth. He can tell us what is right and wrong. Let's say it together. God is the creator. He is the ruler. He is the judge. Remember, in Athens, there were philosophers, people who loved to think and talk about their ideas. They liked nothing better than telling other people about their opinions. After hearing Paul preach about Jesus being raised from the dead, they were really curious. They were so curious that they asked Paul to come with them to a meeting of the Areopagus, the council of people who had authority over what was taught in Athens. Even today, you can see the remains of the ancient place the Areopagus met. Do you think Paul said, no, I don't want to answer your questions? No, Paul was glad to answer their questions about God. So Paul went to um, the meeting and said, Men of Athens, I can see that you are very religious people. As I walked around your city, I saw many gods, including one marked to the unknown God. I will tell you about the one you call the unknown God. He is the one true God who made the world and everything in, in it. He rules over the heavens and the earth and gives life and breath to all people. He determines where you come from or where you are born. Paul went on to tell them much more about the one true God. The people of Athens needed to understand the difference between the one true living and powerful God and their helpless man-made idols. They needed to understand that the creator, the ruler, and the judge of the whole world is the one true God. Say it with me, there is one true God. Paul told the people of Athens and that God himself was not far from them and that he made them able to live and move and be who they are. They should not think he is anything like their man-made statues. Paul told them that trusting in their man-made idols would lead to punishment from God and that they should turn away from their idols to the one true God. Can you imagine how amazed the people of Athens were to find out that the same God who created the whole world wanted them to know them or know him? But Paul was not finished. He said, do not think that a God can be made of gold or silver or stone. Those are just idols people made. The one true God is so powerful that he raised his son Jesus from the dead. Now Jesus is back in heaven and one day he will judge the world. Paul warned them that they would be punished for worshiping these false gods because God is our one true judge. But God loved these philosophers so much that he wanted them to come to him. God wanted to forgive these men of Athens. If you were one of these philosophers in Athens, what would you have done when you heard Paul's words about God? Would you have believed what Paul said? Well, when these men heard about Jesus rising from the dead, some of them made fun of Paul. Some said they would have to wait and, you know, talk to Paul again some other time, you know, give, you know, give me some time to think. But some of the philosophers came to believe in Jesus. Afterward, Paul left the council, but he didn't leave alone. Those who believed in Jesus went with him. Isn't that amazing? So God tells us in the Bible that everyone who believes in Jesus will have eternal life. So Paul listened to God. Remember how Paul used to be Saul and persecuting Christians? 
God changed Paul's life so that he may be a missionary going from city to city to tell people about Jesus so that they can stop believing in false gods and you know have negative thoughts and they can be saved and have salvation. And you can be a missionary just being just in being in your home. If you know a friend or a relative who don't know about Jesus or who may be worshiping false idols, you can tell them this story about Paul in Athens and how God used Paul to speak to other people. You can be that person like Paul to those who may not know Jesus. So as you study this week and do your quiet time, pray to God and ask God to reveal, God, who can I talk to? Who, should, who do you want me to talk to about Jesus so they may come to know the one true God?